Okay, this video is on installing your cap module. So here's your cap module. It comes in a few pieces. Oh, it's upside down right now. Let's flip it. So one piece is this antenna right here. It's a screw on. So you just screw it straight onto here. Um, when you install the cap IQ module onto the board, you want this uh, antenna to be sticking straight out. You don't want it to be bent in any way, just, just coming straight out of the module. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this cap IQ module. So I'm gonna take this to the back of the board. Here's my board. If we look, here's our different inputs. Service, HDMI one, two, oh, backwards. And then right below that, on your board, probably because you still have the cover plate on there, you're gonna see a cover plate with two screws on it. So just look for the mesh um, metal. So we're just going to slide. Oh, sorry, you can't see anything. All right, so we're gonna slide the module into the smart board. And you'll notice it does say, here we go. It says face towards panel, so you know which way to slide it in, but also to the antennas at the top of the module. Okay, once you push it in, make sure you push it in all the way, there's two screws. So one screw at the top and one screw at the bottom. Okay, so these two screws are going to just screw all the way in as much as you can. Let me do the bottom. And one of the things, oh, that I forgot to mention is turn the board off. So underneath the panel, next to your power cable is a switch. Right now it's in the off position. So the O is closest to the board and the I is kind of sticking away from the board. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna turn the board on. So if I just flip this switch to turn it on, I'm gonna give power to the board. I'm gonna come to the front of the mod, come to the front of the smart board. We'll see the 6075. Oh, where'd it go? I'm gonna give my phone over. All right, so you'll see that it says it's initializing. Um, it's just reading the uh, Cap IQ module. It takes a few minutes, so apologies if we stand here and wait for a little bit. Um, but once it pops up, it'll give you all the instructions you'll need to get through the setup uh, portion of Cap IQ, installing your Cap IQ. So we wait, hopefully not too much longer getting hot in here okay so you want to make sure that you keep your two pens on the pen tray oh there you go we have smart cap IQ it says tap the display with a pen to start calibration so you literally pick up your pen tap the display keep the pen in your hand so don't put it back onto the pen tray do not interact with the screen calibration will begin shortly so another waiting game uh, <clears throat> but once it starts to begin, you'll notice a target that appears. Target? Maybe make curls. We'll see. Calibration will begin shortly. It does give you your firmware number as well as your serial number in the bottom left corner. So if you're looking for that. And then, of course, we have smart. Oh, let's go, let's go. Dun, dun, dun probably where you fast forward the video a little bit. All right, press the center of the target with the pen and hold until the target moves. So you're gonna hold it in the middle. Uh, to exit calibration, press two or more fingers on the board for 10 seconds. That's not what we wanna do. So let's go ahead and just hold the pen in the center of the target until it turns green or until it moves. Center, move. There are 12 of these targets. And right now we are calibrating for the cameras. You wanna be as close as possible. And when you're calibrating, don't cover this little uh, reflective band on the pen. Make sure that it's open for the cameras to see that shiny band. And last one, there you go. Now we gotta use the pen, draw on each box until it turns green, turn all the boxes green. Again, to exit calibration, use two fingers. But this this one, I just do little curls. Normally three is 
good. One, two, three. And yes, you do have to do every box like this. Almost done. All right, last row. Bing. All right, there you go. So calibration finishing. And done. So the next part is the setup of the board and all the information. Uh, for your cap IQ. So it says calibration successful. This window will close in a few seconds. Uh, sometimes it takes a longer than a few seconds. So hopefully not too long of a waiting game. Maybe fast forward the video again. And we wait. There you go. Okay, so here's where we're gonna go through all the specifics. Choose a language, I want to choose English next. What country, if I'm United States, we've got to go all the way to the bottom, choose United States next. Name of your smart board, because mine is in the showroom, I'm just going to name it showroom. Okay, next. I have time zone, Hawaii. Right now it is 2 o'clock p.m. exactly. 2 p.m. Let's go to... 2 p.m. and it is April 3rd April 3 2017 next I can configure my Wi-Fi um, or I can do that later so right now I'm just gonna configure it later if you want to do it now do it now um, I'm gonna go next uh, what do I want to see right now the only thing you can choose is this smart notebook lesson and input beta so go ahead and choose whatever you can I'm gonna click next and it says, congratulations, your smart cap is ready to use. And then I just click on finish. So right here we have the write erase pan. So I can write, I can erase, and then pan throughout my um, whiteboard space. But I wanna show you where you go back to put in your uh, Wi-Fi information. So right now I clicked on this little dash at the bottom and it gives me more options. I'm gonna click on settings. And then here is where I want to say Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on and it'll ask you for your username and password. The other one that I wanted to show you was Launcher. And since I opened Launcher, you can choose, do you want to see the smart lab activities, smart app workspaces, browser, and share screen. And if you're in education, you probably want to check all of the options here. But that's pretty much how you set up your smart cap IQ. I hope you enjoy. Uh, reach out to your rep here at the audiovisual company if you have any questions. Thank you.